we cannot yet definitively determine if the unexplained phenomena observed are genuinely of extraterrestrial origin. A series of unusual and striking incidents have been occurring outside the familiar confines of our planet, to which we've only recently managed to have direct visual connection. Fortunately, our distinct human curiosity propels us forward. Stunning images of the cosmos have been shared with us, courtesy of institutions like NASA, the European Space Agency, and various other space organizations. Let's dive right in. Number 1. Galaxy Protocluster Imagine peering into a celestial time capsule from 650 million years after the Big Bang, when the first galaxies were just starting to take shape. That's exactly what the image from the James Webb Space Telescope reveals. It shows seven galaxies that are so far away from us that their light is being stretched, or redshifted, to longer, redder wavelengths by the time it reaches us. This redshift, which scientists measure as 7.9, helps astronomers determine how far away these galaxies are. These seven galaxies are the earliest to be confirmed as part of a growing cluster using the telescope's near-infrared spectrograph, NIRSPEC. This clever tool allows scientists to measure distances in space with extraordinary precision. Let's take galaxy YD4, for example, which was initially thought to be farther away. Using NIRSPEC, astronomers found that it's at the same redshift as the other galaxies, bringing them all together in this developing cluster. Before the Webb telescope, such precise measurements weren't possible. But now, high-resolution imaging and infrared data offer astronomers a new level of accuracy. Isn't it astounding how far our tools and understanding have come? But what's this talk about redshift? Well, as the universe grows bigger over time, light traveling through space gets stretched into longer wavelengths. This means that the light from these far-off galaxies becomes redder as it reaches us. At the same time, shorter wavelengths like ultraviolet and X-ray appear bluer. So when scientists talk about a redshift of 7.9, they're actually telling us how much the light from these galaxies has stretched during its journey through space. Isn't it fascinating to think that when we look at the sky, we're not just seeing space, but also time. And who knows what other mysteries these early galaxies might reveal about our universe as our technology continues to evolve. Number two, the intricate depths of the Crab Nebula. Behold the most detailed portrayal of the entire Crab Nebula we've ever seen, brought to you by the James Webb Space Telescope. As one of the most intriguing and intensively studied celestial objects, the Crab Nebula never ceases to captivate us. This awe-inspiring view isn't just a single snapshot, but a remarkable mosaic pieced together from 24 separate exposures. This stunning composite not only constitutes the largest image ever captured, but also represents the highest resolution depiction of the full Crab Nebula to date. The Crab Nebula, known also as M1, is the aftermath of a supernova, a star explosion, that was observed by Chinese and Middle Eastern astronomers in 1054 AD. This celestial spectacle is located roughly 6,500 light years away from Earth in the constellation Taurus. The nebula itself is a cloud of dust and gas illuminated by a pulsar at its core. A pulsar is a highly magnetized and fast-spinning neutron star, the super-dense remains of the exploded star. This pulsar emits pulses of radiation, including visible light, in our direction about 30 times per second, earning the nebula its Crab moniker due to its appearance. The image of the Crab Nebula is a testament to JWST's incredible capabilities. It was compiled from 24 individual exposures, providing us with the most detailed view of the entire nebula ever seen. The level of detail and resolution in this image help astronomers understand more about the processes and structures that exist within the remnants of supernovae. Number three, the Carina Nebula's spectacular stellar nursery. The James Webb Space Telescope offers us an unparalleled view of the Carina Nebula a place where stars are born amidst an otherworldly landscape. This celestial terrain is shaped by the force of winds and intense ultraviolet radiation emanating from the colossal stars within this fiery domain. These powerful stars are gradually consuming the remaining material from the giant cloud that gave birth to them. Located approximately 7,500 light-years away, 
This vast nebula resides in the southern constellation Carina, also known as the Keel. This constellation was part of the ancient southern constellation Argo Nabis, associated with the ship of Jason and the Argonauts from Greek mythology. This breathtaking image is a collage assembled from 48 snapshots captured by Webb's enormous mirror, taken in the light of ionized hydrogen. Further color data was incorporated using information from the Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile. In this vibrant image, red represents sulfur emissions, green stands for hydrogen, and blue corresponds to oxygen emissions. Such an image provides a visually stunning and scientifically illuminating glimpse into the heart of star formation. Number 4. Unveiling the Dramatic Depths of the Orion Nebula This stunning image provides an unprecedented look into a chaotic cavern of dust and gas where thousands of stars are being born. This is the clearest view ever achieved of the Orion Nebula, a bustling region of star formation. More than 3,000 stars of various sizes make their appearance here, some of which have never been visible before. They exist within a dramatic landscape of towering plateaus, majestic mountains, and deep valleys, evoking images of the Grand Canyon. The Orion Nebula is akin to an illustrated book of star formation, showcasing everything from the massive, youthful stars, sculpting the nebula's shape to the dense gas pillars that might house stars in the making. Its bright central area is the residence of the four most massive stars in the nebula, known as the trapezium, due to their distinctive trapezoid pattern. The intense ultraviolet light emitted by these stars is hollowing out a cavity in the nebula, stunting the growth of hundreds of smaller stars. Near the trapezium stars, there are younger stars with surrounding disks of material, known as protoplanetary disks or proplids. These disks are the fundamental building blocks of solar systems, though they are too small to be clearly seen in this image. At the upper left, a bright glow emanates from M43, a smaller region being shaped by the ultraviolet light of a single massive young star. This area is often referred to as a mini Orion Nebula, since it's being shaped by just one star, compared to the Orion Nebula's four. Adjacent to M43, you'll notice dense, dark pillars of dust and gas standing defiant against the erosive ultraviolet light from the trapezium. To the right, a glowing area unveils beautiful arcs and bubbles, formed when stellar winds, streams of charged particles ejected from the trapezium stars, collide with material. Number 5. The Vibrant Crab Nebula on Display Feast your eyes on this stunning new image of the Crab Nebula, illuminated in a dazzling array of neon hues. This distinctive image is the result of merging data gathered from telescopes that monitor a broad range of the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves all the way to X-rays. Situated 6,500 light years away from us in the constellation of Taurus, the bull, the Crab Nebula, is the remnant of a supernova explosion that was noted by Chinese and other astronomers way back in 1054. At its core, there's a pulsar, a super-dense neutron star that spins incredibly fast, completing a rotation every 33 milliseconds. This pulsar emits beams of radio waves and visible light that sweep around like a cosmic lighthouse. The pulsar is nestled within a complex mix of material. Some of this material was cast off from the star before the supernova event, and some was thrown out during the explosion. High-speed winds composed of particles rush out from the neutron star invigorating the surrounding dust and gas. You can observe the different layers and complexities of the nebula across all different wavelengths of light, offering a unique perspective into the dynamic aftermath of a star's explosive end. Number six, the celestial ribbon of NGC 5189 by Webb. The James Webb Space Telescope marks the holiday season with a remarkable image of the planetary nebula NGC 5,189. The detailed structure of this cosmic spectacle bears a striking resemblance to a giant, brightly-hued ribbon unfurling in the vast expanse of space. NGC 5,189, also known as the Spiral Planetary Nebula, is a complex and intriguing celestial object located in the constellation of Musca, the fly. While the term planetary nebula might suggest that this object has something to do with planets, it doesn't. 
The term comes from the round, planet-like appearance these objects have when seen through small optical telescopes. This particular nebula is noteworthy for its unusual, intricate structures. The heart of NGC 5189 is a binary system, which is thought to consist of a white dwarf and a smaller companion star. The interactions between these two stars result in the complex shapes and patterns observed in the nebula. The dazzling ribbon appearance of NGC 5189 is a result of the stellar winds and radiation from the white dwarf, which interact with the layers of gas previously shed by the star. Over time, this interaction has sculpted the gas into the complex structure we see today. The James Webb Space Telescope's advanced imaging capabilities have captured the full glory of this nebula, highlighting its complexity and vibrant colors. The image not only makes for a striking visual, but also provides valuable scientific data to help astronomers understand the late stages of stellar evolution and the processes that lead to the formation of such intricate nebular structures. Number 7. The Tarantula Nebula's Colorful Symphony Lying 170,000 light-years away in the Large Magellanic Cloud LMC, the Tarantula Nebula lights up the southern sky. It's visible to the naked eye as a bright, cloudy patch. The LMC, an irregular-shaped mini-galaxy, is believed to be undergoing a tumultuous phase of its existence. It orbits the Milky Way, with several close encounters causing sparks of intense star formation, part of which we see as the Tarantula Nebula. At a spot just above the image's center, there's a massive cluster of extremely hot stars named R136. Among these stars are some of the most massive ones we've ever discovered. R136 is a relatively young cluster, with its oldest stars being a mere 5 million years old. Its smallest stars, however, are still in the formation process, making R136 a fascinating target for astronomers keen on studying the early stages of star evolution. Closer to the image's bottom edge, we encounter another star cluster known as Hodge 301. Hodge 301 is nearly 10 times older than R136. Some of its stars have aged so much that they've exploded in supernova events. The shock wave from these explosions has compressed the gas in the tarantula, resulting in the filamentous and sheet-like structures seen surrounding the cluster. The interplay of these diverse celestial elements creates a symphony of colors and forms in the Tarantula Nebula. Number 8. The Horsehead Nebula Through Webb's Lens Emerging like a colossal celestial seahorse from a sea of dust and gas, the Horsehead Nebula is an enchanting sight in the constellation of Orion. This nebula is a chilly, dark cloud of gas and dust that stands out starkly against the surrounding stellar backdrop. The bright patch in the upper left corner is a fledgling star, still nestled within its gas and dust cradle. However, the radiation from this fiery youngster is slowly eating away at its birthplace. Meanwhile, a massive star, positioned outside of the web's field of view, is carving out the top of the horsehead in a similar fashion. The Horsehead Nebula, often captured in photographs for its unique shape and beauty, is also known by its less glamorous name, Barnard 33. Its silhouette is cast against the backdrop of the glowing nebula, IC 434. James Webb Space Telescope has brought us an intimate portrait of this galactic wonder, revealing its intricate structure in fine detail. This detailed imagery of the horse's head is being released in celebration of the Space Telescope's 11th year of orbiting and observing our universe. Number 9. NGC 2261, Webb's Variable Nebula, or NGC 2261 was named in honor of the esteemed American astronomer, Edwin P. Hubble, who conducted some of the earliest investigations of this celestial object. This nebula presents itself as a fan-shaped cloud of gas and dust, which is illuminated by R. Monocerotis, R. Mon, the luminous star located at the nebula's lower end. Dense clusters of dust near R. Mon cast lengthy shadows into the nebula, as these dust particles shift, the illumination alters, leading to the variable appearance initially observed by Webb. The star itself, situated approximately 2,500 light-years from our planet, isn't directly visible. Its light reaches us only through scattering off dust particles in the encompassing nebula. 
believed to be a relative newborn with an estimated age of just 300,000 years, Armon is thought to possess a mass roughly 10 times that of our sun. It's likely that a mirror image of the fan-shaped nebula exists on the star's southern side. However, the view of this possible counterpart is heavily obscured by intervening dust, leaving it hidden from our line of sight. Number 10. NGC 2440 – A Grand Spectacle of Stellar Demise In a blaze of brilliant hues and gaseous swirls, the James Webb Space Telescope presents an intimate view of a star's spectacular farewell within the NGC 2440 Nebula. This star, much like our own Sun, has embarked on the last journey of its cosmic existence. As it breathes its final gasps, it discards its outer layers of gas. This expulsion forms a stunning cocoon around the star's dwindling core, a mesmerizing testament to the star's vibrant history. The heart of this celestial extravaganza, lit by ultraviolet light emanating from the dying star, glows with an ethereal radiance. This illumination paints a captivating tableau of the nebula's intricate structure and dazzling colors. At the center of it all, the star itself, now a white dwarf, flickers as a small white speck. It's a solemn reminder of the star's past glory now nearing its end. As the star dims, it leaves behind a resplendent testament of its existence in the form of the radiant nebula. This image captures not merely the death of a star, but also the birth of a cosmic masterpiece, forever immortalized in the vast canvas of the cosmos. Number 11, NGC 3132, a luminous pool of celestial brilliance. The NGC 3132 provides a spellbinding display of a planetary nebula. This radiant and ever-expanding cloud of gas engulfs a dying star, creating an exquisite celestial spectacle. For stargazers residing in the southern hemisphere, this glorious nebula is fondly referred to as the Eight Burst, or the Southern Ring Nebula. Much like an artist's masterpiece, the nebula is a vibrant splash of colors against the dark backdrop of the cosmos, a testament to the natural beauty that unfolds when a star concludes its life journey. The star at the center, on the brink of its end, illuminates the surrounding gas, setting the nebula aglow with a captivating light. This image, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, transports us across cosmic distances to witness this celestial ballet, where the end of a star gives rise to a radiant pool of light, a breathtaking performance on the cosmic stage. Number 12. Webb's Panoramic Planetary Nebula Exhibit Captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, this image features a breathtakingly beautiful butterfly, or more accurately, a bipolar nebula. This is a formation that has two distinct lobes of material ejected from a central star. Imagine two balloons expanding from the heat of internal heaters, and you get a sense of how the nebula's wings form. Fast winds, loaded with material from the dying central star, push outward causing the lobes to expand and shape themselves into the striking butterfly silhouette we observe. The nebula, nestled in the constellation Sagittarius, is a whopping 2,200 light-years away from us, yet through the eyes of the Webb telescope, we can appreciate its stunning beauty. In this celestial ballet, the ejection of stellar material turns the death of a star into a mesmerizing spectacle of cosmic proportions, each lobe glows with a symphony of colors, a testament to the dynamic and vibrant life of the universe. Number 13. Farewell in the Stars Located in the constellation of Norma, the southern sky is home to a mesmerizing planetary nebula known as PK 329022. Some may know it as Menzel II or Mez II, named in honor of the astronomer Donald Menzel, who first unveiled its presence to the scientific community in 1922. As stars akin to our sun approach the twilight of their existence, they shed their outer layers into the cosmic void, resulting in magnificent glowing gas clouds known as planetary nebulae. This celestial shedding isn't a tidy process. It's irregular and asymmetrical, leading to some fascinating and intricate shapes in the nebulae. Menzel II is no exception, boasting a beautifully coiled blue cloud that mirrors the alignment of two central stars. In 1999, astronomers made a fascinating discovery. The star situated at the upper right of the nebula was, in fact, the nebula's central star. 
and the star to the lower left was likely its genuine companion. Over tens of thousands of years, the stellar core will find itself nestled in a spectacular gas cocoon. Then, in a few thousand years, this gas will gradually fade away, disappearing into the cosmic expanse. The graceful, curving structure of Menzel II resembles a final wave, a last farewell before the star transitions to its ultimate retirement stage, a white dwarf. Number 14. Stellar Echoes What you're witnessing in this image are the ethereal remnants of SNR B0519690, or SNR0519 for short. This beautiful blood-red shell of gas represents the vestiges of a violent supernova explosion from approximately 600 years ago, a cosmic blink of an eye in astronomical terms, the violent death throes of a white dwarf star, a sun-like star in its twilight years, resulted in this supernova. There are several types of supernova, but the evidence here points to a white dwarf as the progenitor. SNR 0519 is situated over 150,000 light-years away from our own Earth, nestled within the southern constellation of Dorado, also known as the Dolphin Fish. This particular constellation also happens to be home to a significant portion of our neighboring galaxy, the Large Magellanic Cloud, LMC. Thus, this celestial neighborhood is teeming with fascinating deep-sky objects. The LMC, as a satellite, orbits the Milky Way, and it is the fourth largest galaxy in our local galactic group, the Local Group. SNR 0519 isn't the lone beauty within the LMC, though. A few years ago, the James Webb Space Telescope also discovered another gem, SNR B0509675. This celestial object is a supernova of the same type as SNR 0519 and boasts a remarkably similar appearance, a stunning twin in the cosmos. Number 15. A Dying Star's Toxic Legacy the image shared by the James Webb Space Telescope displays an odd and irregular constellation of jets and clouds. This celestial spectacle is a consequence of a dying star's last gasp as it expels a poisonous mix of gases, including carbon monoxide and hydrogen cyanide, while its core exhausts its nuclear fuel. This cosmic object, known as the Westbrook Nebula, alternatively referred to as PK-16606, CRL 618, or AFGL 618, is a protoplanetary nebula. Protoplanetary nebulae are opaque, dark, and transient clouds of gas that stars eject in the final stages of their life cycle when they run out of nuclear fuel. The star, currently hidden within the core of the nebula, will eventually metamorphose into a hot white dwarf, and the gas enveloping it will transform into a luminous planetary nebula before it disperses. This stage in stellar evolution is relatively brief, resulting in a scant few hundred known protoplanetary nebulae in our home galaxy, the Milky Way. Protoplanetary nebulae are cool in temperature and emit minimal visible light, making them extremely faint and challenging for astronomers to study. Thus, the image is a composite representing different methodologies that astronomers employed to decode the enigmatic nebula's internal workings. The image incorporates visible light exposures that depict light reflected from the gas cloud, combined with other exposures in the near-infrared part of the spectrum. This combination reveals a dim glow, imperceptible to human eyes, emitted from various elements deep within the nebula itself. Thank you so much for joining us on this incredible journey through the cosmos, exploring breathtaking nebulas and the mysteries of our fascinating universe. Remember, the universe is always expanding and there's so much more to discover. What was your favorite nebula that we explored today? Which other celestial objects would you like to learn about in the future? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this space adventure. Your support helps us continue to bring these awe-inspiring interstellar journeys to your screen. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all our future space expeditions. By doing so, you'll join a community of space enthusiasts and explorers, and your engagement will help us bring more of these educational and entertaining experiences to you. And finally, why not dive deeper into our cosmic neighborhood? There's another adventure waiting for you right now. Just click on the video appearing on your screen and join us as we set course for another mesmerizing journey 
through the vast expanse of space. Your next space adventure starts now. Remember the universe awaits us. So until next time, keep looking up.